This episode of Techzilla is brought to you by Domain.com. It's time for another website we just can't get enough of. A website that's just too useful, too funny, or too darn irresistible. This week's pick, ladies and gentlemen, NetflixRoulette.net. Also, by the way, available on your Android phone. Ever been in the mood to watch a movie, but you end up spending an hour going through Netflix like, mm, what about this? Mm, All yeah, the time. That, that looks good. No. Yeah. Suffer no longer. Netflix Roulette takes away the indecision and lets you spin the proverbial wheel of content. And in this case, rather than looking at everything on Netflix, I'm going to look at documentaries because there are some incredible documentaries buried deep inside of Netflix. So you, you pick a category, and we'll show movies and TV shows, and hit the spin button. The site's going to traverse through even the deepest, darkest corners of Netflix and come back with a single result. From there, you can click the Watch on Netflix button, or you can go, oh, God, no, I don't want to watch that and spin again. <laughs> and uh, if you just want to, if you want to look for, ooh, that actually looks really cool. Follow dancers training for the Youth America Grand Prix, one of the world's most prestigious ballet competitions. So let's turn off TV shows and spin again. See, this is where it gets you. So you're just like, hey, wait a minute. <gasps> Fernando Nation, 30 for 30. These are the ESPN ones. Those are so good. In any case, you can see what kind of happens. If you're on the go, by the way, there's a Netflix Roulette Android app that gives the same experience. And all of you developers out there that want a piece of the action, you can tap into the Netflix Roulette API to access its library database. Check it out today over at NetflixRoulette.net. And hopefully Michael and I will stop obsessing over this. <laughs> Although That's why you're not getting any work done. Getting what done? <gasps> <gasps> My Amityville Horror. Oh, it only got a 3.1. Oh See, the, the Netflix rating is up oh, there. Oh, that one was terrible. Really? I watched it, yeah. Spin again. <laughs> Usain Bolt, fastest man alive. Woo! In any case, I can do this all day long. Jack writes in. Can you read this, Shannon? Because I'm just going to keep hitting Netflix. Do you have a suggestion for getting a Chromecast to pick up a weak Wi-Fi signal? My TV Chromecast has a fireplace and a set of mirrors, old mercury backed, I think, and a door that the signal must penetrate between my router and the Chromecast, less than 20 feet away. I have a Linksys gaming adapter hooked to my Blu-ray player that works okay right above the Chromecast. The 100 plus year old house is a rental, so running wires is very difficult. Suggestions? I'd love your posts. They help this old computer geek stay a bit fresher than I might otherwise. Aww. Thank you for the message. Glad we can help. Yeah. Uh, so a lot of our standard rules for tweaking Wi-Fi are going to work for your Chromecast, which is mm -hmm. good because there's no Ethernet port on your Chromecast and you can't pull cables anyway. True. Not so good. You've got other Wi-Fi devices right next to the Chromecast that do work. So like, you know, gaming gadget here works, Chromecast doesn't work. And you've got a really brutal environment there with the fireplace between your router and the Chromecast and the fact that you're in a 100-year-old house which means plaster and lath walls, so there's like an inch of plaster in there. Um, you know, my first thought is always, can you move the router? Can you relocate it? But take a look at this. This is a Nantech did a teardown of the, uh, of the uh, Chromecast. And my understanding is that this little chain of solder beads is actually <gasps> the antenna. the antenna, yeah. yeah. So what about putting cool. the Chromecast on a longer HDMI cable and rotating it to different angles? Yeah. Um, because basically, find a place where you can hide it near the TV and still get a signal. You, it's funny that you can tell what your, it'll tell you what your Wi-Fi signal is, but it won't like change it in real time as you're moving your dongle around. So you can That's be like, true. look at it this, walk back to the TV. No, the signal didn't go up. You know, turn it like this, turn it like this, turn it like this. It's like old school like little bunny ears. Exactly. <laughs> Just the same thing. <laughs> and you could also do Patrick favorite Wi-Fi hack, aluminum foil behind the Chromecast, and maybe the router to concentrate the Wi-Fi signal. Everybody on it mocks as well. this, but you know, aluminum foil on a on well, a it's true. piece of file paper. Yeah. It directs the signal. <laughs> it's the weirdest thing. It redirects but. more signal towards a different range. And it's cheap. Yes. And you could get a better omnidirectional antenna for the wireless router. Those are the big ones that stick out of the top of your router and the omnidirectional ones. They just kind of go all over the place, all right. around you. So you could get a bigger one that spreads out more. Uh, Wi-Fi range extenders might be a good choice since they are supposed to get around obstructions like mirrors and really thick walls. And it repeats out the signal to bounce to places in your house where you can't get any good wireless. There are tons of range extenders available on Amazon and other popular sites, but you could check your router's information as well, just in case to make sure whichever one you try out is compatible. <laughs> right. That's probably the first step. Depending on your wiring, a power line Ethernet adapter with another access point in the room might do the trick. True. Uh, Mike, our producer, lives in a 100-year-old plaster-filled house 
house and has a few access points with power line adapters to cover all of the rooms because otherwise he would need a basically a router in every freaking room in the house. Oh boy. Oh boy. If you haven't yet, you should really try out Domain.com. It's one-stop shopping for all of your domain name and web hosting needs. These guys are awesome. Domain.com's simple search quickly shows you available domain names and web hosting options, making it really easy to select the domain extension and hosting plan that's right for you. An easy checkout smooths the process, erases the hassle, and it keeps you from saying, huh, how does this thing work? The folks at Domain.com are hooking you up. At checkout, use the coupon code TECHZILLA for 20% off your purchase. That's an amazing offer.